Everyone, it's David Bumble coming to you from Cisco Live, back with Justin. Justin, great to see you again. Great to see you. So I talk to you and Ralph whenever there's a new update for CML. People really want to see what's going on. And I love to see the develop myself and the feedback I've been getting from a lot of the audiences. It's great to see how it's been iterated. And the last time I spoke to Ralph was about 2.7. And now we're going to talk about 2.8, is that right? Correct, yep. Perhaps you can tell us about some of the features that may be coming in version 2.8 of CML. But before we get there, what were some of the biggest asks in 2.7 or the things that people really appreciated that were added to 2.7? Yeah, the biggest things were um, IOL and then having the SD-WAN images uh, included with uh, 2.7. So just for people who are perhaps not aware of the details, can you explain what IOL is and what what's cool about the SD-WAN stuff? So the, the IOL is uh, a very lightweight um, image. Um, it's based on iOS XE and it allows people to run a lot of routers with uh, limited resources. Yeah, because I mean, the problem with like um, iOS V2 uh, is that like when you boot it up, it takes forever, it takes a huge amount of resources, but IOL doesn't, right? Correct, yeah. And then with SD-WAN, I'm assuming a lot of people are asking for that. Yeah, we've had a lot of uh, requests, a lot of people wanting to use those images. Um, and out of the box now, it'll have all the images so you can get up and running without needing um, anything extra. That's right. So for everyone who's watching, I'll put a link below to the documentation for CML 2.7. So you can have a look at that if you want more details. Yeah, so we've been working on uh, smart annotations. Um, okay. The idea behind smart annotations is, well, we currently have annotations. With annotations, you can annotate your network topology. You can add some context to you know, what you have as far as router switches, IP addresses, that sort of thing. With smart annotations, we're trying to make that um, a little bit more automatic in, in that it's tied to the nodes themselves. Okay. So the way that works is we have tags that you can add to nodes. That's currently in CML. So Justin, just before we continue, what's the time frame sort of for 2.8 coming? We're currently looking around uh, October for a time frame. Of this year, right? Yeah, this year. Okay, that's great. So only a few months. Now, I've, I've taken your mic away because you've got a demo, is that right? Yeah, I have a demo of uh, 2.8. So the way this works is we add a, a tag to a node inside the simulation. So if I click on the CSR1000B, I can add the EIGRP tag and it will add it to that, uh, smart, um, to that annotation. If I take the tag away, it'll go away. As we drag these nodes around, the uh, annotation will be drawn to encompass um, the nodes that are uh, tagged with the same tag. We have this distance parameter. If you change the distance, what it does is it will create distinct groups for that uh, smart annotation based on the distance of the nodes. So if I increase the distance, it will draw an annotation around all of the different nodes. If I lower that distance, it will draw separate um, annotations around. So additionally, if you want to turn off a annotation, we can click on uh, this button here yep. and we can turn them on and off temporarily. We are working on, this isn't done yet, but we're working on uh, some ideas around how we can add the tags automatically based on the state inside of the simulation. So if it's running OSPF or EIGRP, possibly we can either look at the configuration of the devices or the hope is to be able to look at the traffic flows going across uh, the simulation to be able to add those tags dynamically. And then once those are added, um, then you could come in here and turn on those tags, turn them off, or um, you can drag the nodes around and it'll, it'll show you you know, the different state um, and draw the annotations around them. Justin, I'm a bit slow, right? So you put a tag on each of these devices and then it draws them like as a grouping, is that right? Yeah, it's a way to dynamically um, move the annotations and have them tied to the nodes. Because as it is today with annotations, if you draw an annotation, it's not tied to any of the nodes or links inside the simulation. So if you want to move an annotation around, you have to manually do that. Or if you decide to move the nodes around, the annotation isn't part of that. So this is a way to kind of tie the nodes to the annotations. So Justin, this is great. So just for everyone watching, I'll tell you this. I've been told some stuff, but unfortunately, um, the boss is sitting here and I'm not allowed to talk about it. Otherwise, I'll never be invited back. But I believe there's some really cool stuff coming. And that's as much as I can say. Justin, really looking forward to 2.8. Thanks for coming.